and this is our guest for this video. Welcome to the channel again. Like always, you know me, it's your host Amy from Pan Venture, and welcome to another Fun Pen review. In this Fun Pen review, we are getting more familiar with the Leonardo da Vinci Machina from Visconti, a beautiful writing instrument, a very exclusive and interesting fountain pen. I have to be honest, I've been eyeing this fountain for quite some time. Ever since I've seen uh, the video review of Penultimate Dave, I've been wanting to get my hands on this fountain pen and to review it on the channel for everyone. And the occasion arrived just a few days ago when one of my good friends and customer asked me if I'm able to get one of these fountain pens for his personal fountain pen collection. And I said, yes, but only one condition if I can review it on the channel for everyone. And he said, no problem at all. Quite, quite impressive fountain pen. And since we have so many details to go through, I'm gonna showcase this fountain pen. First, I'm gonna start with the shopping experience, what you get when you order this fountain pen. Then we will move in some of the details, the specific uh, details of this fountain pen that makes it so special. Then we will have a side-by-side -side size comparison, writing sample, and in the end, I'm gonna share some of my personal opinions and we are going to end the video. It comes from Visconti in Florence, the same city where Leonardo da Vinci was born. Super, super impressive. I mean, look at this box right here. It's made out of wood, real wood. We have all sorts of aged hinges and everything is so, so nice and it screams luxury and very, very interesting uh, content inside. I'm gonna open it like so and you get this fountain pen sitting right here and it's probably one of the most interesting displays for a fountain pen. This is the Visconti Leonardo da Vinci Machina or Machina translated machine. The fountain pen sits right here in this cog wheel assembly. I'm gonna move it here. We have a warranty card with information about this amazing writing instrument and a bottle of ink made out of glass. Uh, everything sits very, very nice. You can use both this box as a display, but also you can use this independently out of the box to put the fountain pen on your desk like so. And if you want to really, really make a good impression, you can put it right here and it turns and you can keep the fountain pen orientated to how you like it on your desk. Anyway, I really think that the customer experience is very impressive and it needs to be with such a fountain pen. I mean, after all, it represents one of the biggest visionaries and a very true special gifted human being, Leonardo da Vinci. And of course, the fountain pen follows the same line in regards of design, and it is as impressive as the complete package. So we have a fountain pen based on the Homo sapiens model from Visconti with a lot of different touches which set it apart from anything that's Homo sapiens, and we are going to go through them very, very soon. Take a closer look at the design, and before going further, I would like to point out a few things about Leonardo da Vinci, so you can get a grasp on who was this man. Well, he was born in Florence, in Italy, and it is in the Renaissance period, it is a pillar, a very, very important inventor, visionary, with stunning, stunning works of art which are attributed to him. I don't know if we are certain enough to answer the question, what was Leonardo da Vinci talented at? Because he was so, so gifted. He was a painter, a engineer, an inventor, a visionary uh, with countless works in the fields of astronomy, cartography, paleontology, anatomy. A number of these works are founded in his drawings and diaries, which served as a theme for this work of art, this fountain pen, Leonardo da Vinci Machina. And now let's go through the details of this impressive creation. First of all, we are going to start with the finial, which bears the old style logo from Visconti, we have this finial, which is made to depict a cog wheel. Uh, the overall theme of this fountain pen is cog wheels, and you will see that repeated all over the design of this fountain pen. Moving further, we have this clip, which is just like a beam 
hinged right here and again we have a cogwheel a small cogwheel right here on the clip very beautiful it follows the same line as the Ponte del Vecchio clips of Visconti we have two rings that separate this cap right here and those two rings are synonymous to Homo sapiens as a font pen model. The difference now in between the normal Homo sapiens and this one is the fact that these two rings are much more spaced out and in between we have an ivory resin which is different color than the other two parts of the cap which bears the same material like the Visconti Medici, the Arco silk which is impressive and I think it goes so well with the cream that the ivory resin brings as a color for the setup with the brown from the Medici, the ivory resin, all of the gold trims of the fountain pen are gold plated and using the hook safe lock mechanism we uncap the fountain pen only to be stunned by the in-house made 18 karat gold nib by Visconti. A beautiful, beautiful sight. The 18 karat gold nib is made in Florence, the same city where Leonardo da Vinci was born. And I love the design of this nib. Visconti, the Fleur de Lis motif on the nib, 18 karat gold, 750 medium. This is a nib which is entirely made in-house by Visconti using gold, using techniques, using equipment and I love the idea to have everything done in-house. Moving further, we have the same, same section just like any Homo sapiens fountain pen from Visconti. Again, the same material like on the cap, the Medici Arco Silk Resin, which that fountain pen looks so, so good and I'm going to show you uh, my personal Medici fountain pen side by side this one so you can clearly see the beauty of this material on the Medici line it is used in a faceted shape on this Leonardo da Vinci machina is used on rounded surfaces and it shows so so well it's chatoyant light shades of brown with dark shades of brown mixing to form something unique moving further right here we have the hook safe lock grooves the section is quite quite ergonomic although it's on a shorter side of sections in regards of length it is shaped like an hourglass and it is very comfortable and I wouldn't say that I need more uh, length in regards of this section right here we have the barrel ring and we have sort of a engraving two words Visconti on the back and machina facing the nib slit so however you are going to hold the fountain pen you will see machina wrote right there and also something very unique about this fountain pen the font used on this ring right here it is very very vintage and it looks very very appropriate to the overall design of this fountain pen join me and let's showcase one of the main attractions of this fountain pen the barrel so the barrel is made out of ivory resin just like the small in between the rings part of the cap and it displays this gorgeous gorgeous technique which is called screenshot it's very very faint very small etching in this beautiful ivory resin of the sketches of Leonardo so we have a cogwheel inventions writing drawing sketches and he is well known to be an inventor for all sorts of stuff pulleys inventions machines flying machines armored machines for military it is impressive to see this from Visconti and the color of the sketches is done very very close to what actually was the journals of Leonardo da Vinci so if you take a closer look this ivory resin is just like an old page and this drawing the screenshot drawing is impressive to say at least and I love love this feature Moving further, the shape of the barrel starts at the thickest point right here, tapering in very, very faintly towards the end knob. And the end knob features this ring right here, which is attached to the piston knob or the piston end. And this power pan, it doesn't feature the double reservoir power filler. It's just a power filler, so you don't have that. The end knob is made in the same resin as the Medici one, Arco Silk, the brown one. And on the back of it, you will find engraved the limited edition number, which in this case is 288. So only 288 pieces made. Pretty much that covers the overall details of this fountain pen. Let's showcase this fountain pen side by side other 
models from Visconti in order to grasp the overall size and proportions. And here we have the Visconti Machina next to a Lamy All-Star, Visconti Homo Sapiens, a Visconti Medici and a Visconti Opera Master. As you can clearly see, the final band sits a little bit taller than a Visconti Homo Sapiens and a little bit under a Opera Master. Now let's have a look uncapped. As you can clearly see, the Visconti Machina is going to sit a little bit taller than a Homo Sapiens and slightly under a Opera Master. Capped, the final band measures 148 millimeters. Uncapped like so, we have 133 millimeters in between the tip of the nib and the piston knob. And posted like so, the final band measures 175 millimeters. Closed, the final band is weighing 53 grams and uncapped like so is weighing 29 grams. So we are dealing with a found pen which is slightly larger and slightly wavier than the Homo sapiens, the base model. Nevertheless, a very beautiful fountain pen, very unique, very apart from anything in the Homo sapiens line, although we've seen a lot of Homo sapiens till this day. Anyway, let's have a writing sample with this gorgeous 18 karat gold nib and uh, we are going to dive into my personal opinions after the writing sample. The pen. Visconti. Leonardo. Da Vinci. Machina. And we have the ink. Visconti Brown. I've used the ink which came with the fountain pen. Nib 18 karat gold. And this is a medium point. And paper, Tomoy River paper. It is a very, very impressive fountain pen. It's not that weighty. It's still a Homo sapiens. And the 18 karat gold nib has a pretty pretty decent ink flow on the wet side it's not a fire hose ink flow but again it's quite a wet ink flow normal figure of eights and i would say this is a more true to the size medium point although it's slightly slightly on the skinnier side if you ask me and my taste in regards of nibs flexed the nib is going to bring some of that ink and the pooling of that ink when you flex the fountain pen will show as a line variation but again it's a let's say stiffy nib and i wouldn't advise you to push it much more than this so yeah if you want something with line variation go for a fountain pen which is advertised as being a flex you wouldn't want to ruin this nib. Let's use the famous sentence to see if everything works as good as it looks. The wick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is a stunning, stunning nib. It has a hint of a feedback, nothing unpleasant. And I do suspect that the Visconti ink, it's quite dry. So this fountain pen, which you would add a very wet ink, like for example, a Hiroshizuku ink, it would put down a lot more ink and it would look a little bit different than what you see right here on this writing sample. Now let's put the notebook away and let's dive into my personal opinions regarding this impressive fountain pen. Frankly saying, I don't know where to start because this is not for everybody, first of all. We are dealing with a fountain pen which exceeds 2000 euros in regards of retail pricing and that's excluding taxes, so 2.3 and something like this. So it is quite, quite expensive. It is unique. I haven't seen anything from Visconti that can rival this fountain pen in regards of the unique factor. It's sort of uh, 
made to look like it's made from pieces, but those pieces go well together. I wouldn't say it is a far band that's going to be on too many people's list of must-have fountain pens. For some of these creations, it needs to be that unique in order to be appealing for those very few who have a connection with the subject of the fountain pen. In this case, Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci is known for many things, many things. For example, Mona Lisa or The Last Supper, which are two of the most famous paintings ever created. It was someone who takes thinking outside the box to the whole new level. Imagine now, we are in the current days and we are still talking about this human being as being so, so bright and unique. And the fountain pen shows just that. It follows a very unique path and way to express Leonardo da Vinci as a person and everything that he created and I think the fountain pen is exactly that. It's going to match his personality, I think so, or at least I imagine so. It is very, very practical, this fountain pen. You can use it as a daily carry, no problems whatsoever. So it's not impractical at all. I wouldn't recommend you posting this fountain pen because in posting, it becomes much more back heavy. This cap is quite weighty. All of the aspects, the box is something that's going to set apart this collection and you can use it as a display for your fountain pen or you can put the small cog wheel, the one which is made out of wood, and I have it right here. You can put it like so and you can store the fountain pen on your desk and it's going to look very, very unique. It's the center point of a fountain pen collection for sure. Pretty much this is what I have in regards of this amazing creation. I want to thank uh, to the customer who allowed me the privilege of inking up this fountain pen and uh, testing it before shipping this fountain pen to him. I'm very impressed and uh, Smate, thank you very, very much for this unique occasion and privilege. Anyway, if you're looking for it, email me or contact me and I will for sure help you out to secure this impressive fountain pen. As always, thank you for spending this time with me on the Penventure YouTube channel. Let me know your opinion in the comment section down below. If you have any questions regarding the Visconti Leonardo da Vinci Machina, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be quick to answer those. And also, scrolling down below, you'll find the links for our website, our social media accounts, my email, my phone number, anything and everything that you may need in order to get in contact with me. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm and everything. And also, I know that some of you that are watching right now are not subscribed yet. So if you want to subscribe and grow the Pendentry YouTube channel, click there, turn the notification bell on, and you will be notified whenever we have new content. And speaking about new content, I'm gonna leave you this video right here. Click and enjoy. As always, it's your host Amy and I'll forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye bye.